We have some good news for you about a Valley News Live exclusive story. Do you remember these two kittens, Pie and Manny? Well, they have found their forever home. If you have been following their story, you'll remember that Pi and Manny were rescued from a fire three weeks ago by a young photographer named Carlos Pacheco. That's the same photographer who's adopting them. Both kittens were in shock with dangerously low body temps and smoke inhalation, and Pi had severe burns on all four paws. And speaking of which, Pacheco has a Compassionate Action Award coming his way from PETA. As he was taking pictures of the controlled fire, he heard meowing and spotted the kittens. He then shielded himself from the extreme heat with his jacket, had to use a stick to pull one kitten from the fire, and rushed both of them to a nearby shelter for veterinary care. PETA says Pacheco's quick action saved the kittens from a painful and terrifying death. North Dakota's deer season opens at noon on Friday. If you were lucky enough to have a tag, it may be a little easier to find a deer this year. Generally speaking, the deer numbers across the state have grown. That's according to game and fish biologist Doug Lear. Lear says that's a good thing for hunters, but we'll know more once people actually hit the fields. Even if you didn't get a tag this year, many will head out to keep the tradition alive. Well, the first priority, Lear says, is to wear blaze orange. Lear also says even if you're just out checking the mail, you should do so. The season closes Sunday, November 20th. In Minnesota, the season opens on Saturday. And there may be one more stop to make before heading out to the deer stands. The annual Shields Blaze Days started today and runs through Friday, leading up to the Deer Firearms Hunting Opener. They've got everything on your list, from boots and socks to binoculars and scopes. Everything to help you stock your vehicle before you head out. All three days, Shields is giving out free items to the first 500 people through the doors. Tomorrow and Friday, those doors open at 9 a.m. We didn't know one of the Vikings coaches was going to resign, but we did know that there was a ribbon cutting today, and you've got stories on both. That's right, we certainly do. It's a huge day for sports news, surprisingly. On the one end, we'll hear from both parties coming up next.